Yeah, that was already one hour into kit bashing. Stream cuts automatically after one hour. I hope we didn't lose too much, too many persons. Yes, time, time was up. Time was up. But lucky for you, we'll do another hour. little refreshment so the sergeant needs his new body at some point <clears throat> Passion in person mentioned some armor on the mounts and the first thing I had in mind we will definitely reuse in addition to some green stuff is of course the parts we cut from the Skyen bodies. One option is a shield in front to get very much of this covered. And a oh, convoy. I've cut the uh, tassets from the sky and bodies before, so we can use those. to add a layer of armor. Could use plastic card or some other parts haven't yet looked into the essence of it. But we'll definitely have to cover up the um, cut arms over here. Some other tiny heraldic shields for the leader perhaps we'll see to that. So another issue we have with these is the reins. The original cold ones had the reins on attached to the heads but tied to the saddle because the dark elven knights were able for once to steer the mounts with their legs and shared some kind of bond so uh, the mount kind of knew where the rider wanted it to go and of course both rider and mount are cold-blooded enough to attack in the same direction so with this one i wanted or had the idea of uh, um, how is it called not a mind control unit, but uh, the thing that Inquisitor Covenant uses to control his Psycannon 
mind control unit, is it? I think so. So I've already put some kind of sensors. Sensors, not sensors. Sensors. On to reset. Come focus. There we go. Some spikes and nodes. And the technology for that is built into the backpack or the armor of the rider. So he has this control unit that links him with the mount so he has both hands free to kill the enemies of the Emperor. But that's just stage one for this part. They could be that I'll use other parts to then I use other parts for that. So let's attach where are the lenses? There are the lenses for all that all who joined belatedly to see what we are working at. I will do pictures in better quality later, of course. Other one the lances still need some elongating down the back so that the rider is able to put it under his arm and hold it steady but I haven't found the right piece yet. Had some parts of Empire crossbows at hand, but not the fitting part yet. So we are at the stage now where we refine our idea and where things can get into a totally different direction than intended. Still not going into details too much. So they pretty much look alike for now, but of course we'll are not at the positioning process yet, so we can rearrange as we want. So let's prepare the legs of the leader. Again, for those who are new, I'm using the legs from the, sorry, Empire 
Demigraph Cavalry. I am now entering a stage of focus and concentration when I'm well into buildings, so talking will become less frequent. I try to answer questions, of course, looking once a time onto the screen to check for new commands. When doing my kit bashes I tend to start big and then go into the small details, meaning first set up the scene you want to create. Like with cavalry, it's you need a mount, rider, lance, perhaps a shield. Then tie it into the main theme you want to create. Should they be medieval, sci-fi, low-tech, high-tech, whatever. And then step by step or stage by stage add little details. Remove things that you don't want and replace them with others. Like pieces of armor or heraldry or the heads on the mounts. They started as regular cold ones, these mounts, and I had them standing on my desk for quite a long time until I decided that I wasn't quite there. So I cut the arms and put off the head, put on this griffhound heads, and there we are now. They are intended or belong to the reading Passion in Person again has a cool idea. Those packs into the side of the face. Ah, you mean the huge round optic thing. Mm. I am considering to add kind of um, bionic eye to the side of the mount's heads. For that we kept these tiny sensors from the sky and bodies. They would do cool optical sensor attachment and perhaps they will get a little screen on the back of their necks something like that or
So we have from the from this Guitari backpack we used, we have this little part with a dial on it. So we could use that to to increase the amount of bionic attachments. We could too use the parts we cut from the rust stalk blades for the lances, this one, to replace parts of the leg perhaps over here direct link to their helmets via cable you mean now we should save this idea with the uh, like it's meant to be there. Look at this. Yeah, I think we'll go wireless. Wireless connection. Like this one. But we could do a cable version. I have somewhere real small thin copper copper wiring we could use for that. Going from going from behind the head over here under the saddle or onto the saddle and then up to the rider and perhaps attach to the front of the armor so as you see we added some tiny bits of details to that one just to look if they look cool, nothing set yet. I usually have kit bashes of stage one on my table for about a week to get an idea for it. Less if I get a real good idea for it. Stage two, maybe a day, two days. Where are my Grey Knight shields? Okay, if you're going grim dark and like heraldic shields, I totally recommend you to get your set of Grey Knight Terminators because they not only have 10 of these beauties, but they have 20. Going for the angular ones, one with skull, one with sword.
could be an option could just to get a feeling for it sword is from the demigriff cavalry 2 as is but i'm planning to replace it and go transonic not sure if I I have to keep the cross guard and make it some cloak and dagger musketeer thing Getting distracted. Wanted to prepare the body of the last one first. Light Lords Terminators, they have them too, okay? Yeah. But wouldn't that be too nergly? I will have to have a look into that kit. That's good, that's good. If it's still looking shiny, it has a chance with me. So off with this. I will probably use these Eisenkern torsos for another kit bash. I have many Black Phalanx soldier using these. But as I want to go with these cavalry for the Golden Demon next year, I must only use Games Workshop parts. Yeah, I have those uh, both both kits and the Cataphract Determinator Terminators had some little shields too, but the ones on the Nurgle Terminator kind of eluded me. Could be that I even have spared them, not built them onto the Terminators, to have them for some later kit bash. So, being able to use this cable would be very nice. So I will try to make my first cut over here with very low pressure using the finer side of the blade. I don't want to break it. Break it.
Yeah, please do so. Send me a pic. Trying to put my hand so that you all can see how I place my cuts. Doing small pilot cut with a knife. I will do the whole thing with a knife because I don't want to damage the cross guard too much. That's it. Gun is Carl Franz. Welcome to the transonic age. Ah, that broke. spare somewhere and it's way too short well but more like a falchion have to see if I like the look of that. I think the blade is too short. Maybe, maybe not. Well, obviously, he won't carry a two hander, but a long sword to reach his opponents at least well he's at at cutting level at least so that's okay The blade from the Skitari is even shorter. I had that sprue somewhere. Yeah, I'll show you when these uh, transonic blades are on the tiny hands of the rust stalkers they seem quite 
long. This one's the one from the Skitari and it's two millimeters short. But there was this dude on my feed. The Possibly some Germans over here, yeah. Me too. Nope, no Sisters of Silence, too slim. Um, Mark 4 or Mark 3, is it? Space Marines? This one. Heavy heck blade. Yeah, for the sake of our English guests, we'll stay with English for today. That's better. Still a bit heavy about the cross guard. but could be an option. Good evening, Nicholas. How are you, dude? Glad you could make it. So, we I think I will try to cut out to cut out the back of the tip to give it a more falchion-like look. Ah, the Xenoblade from the... Death Watch is a bit too big, I would think. And too ornate and too Xenos. It's I already use it on this guy. That's a single blade. He's a bodyguard of some black phalanx leader. You too, dude. So but 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 Scout blades could be an option, and nah, no, they're too short. Reaver blades are too short, too. Mm, go back to the. I think the original one was quite close, but that's how it is. We could try to. Make that transonic blade a bit longer. Or we could go for the Commissar's Saber. Mm, nope. Marauder Chief Blade. Mm, don't think I know which kit you are referring to. So this one looks cool and I have quite a lot of them. So we'll try to Fix the issue somehow. Make it a bit slimmer over here. K 
Chaos Marauders. The regular one on foot, yes. Check them out. Closer. Marauders on foot. Okay, let's check. They have to be in the locker. Hello, Sigma Workbench. This one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, has too many grooves and notches, but would be a cool demon blade for kind of Inquisitor. So we save this for later. Of that, make it slimmer over here and over here. We'll keep that part to the last. Yeah, that's going the way I like it. I think this one will also need another shoulder pad, another pauldron. Don't very much like the hawk eagle head thing. We'll see to that later. Okay, so we are pretty much done with these. He's missing his backpack. There's this guitar ranger or vanguard, vanguard, vanguard. Vanguard backpack. Raven with a Brush, the prosecutor's great blade. Well, it's even bigger than this one. Uh, the thing with Stormcast Eternal Bits is that they are really, really big compared to the small Empire humans. The Empire humans are even smaller than uh, regular. Godsman, as you perhaps can see somehow if I get the focus. Uh, 
Yeah, the idea with the book as a preacher is a quite good one. Haven't delved into the clerical part of Black Phalanx yet, except there is existing a cult deep down in the bowels of the Crusades queenship, which is called the cult, not the ship. Um, how was it called? The Disciples of the Eclipse Eternal. Some kind of doomsday flagland like extremists who believe that only from darkness light can emerge. So they're probably into using Xenos and maybe Chaos artifacts. So they would be more likely to have a kind of preacher with them but there is the possibility that other members of Black Phalanx regular soldiers are believers of this cult that's a possibility here we go okay I don't have an overview which time it is. I only get warned about 20 seconds before the video cuts out. I'll try to get a better angle at those. So we got them pretty far for today I think got their new shiny lances got their new bodies next steps will be to refine the details like the sensor attachments armor Tiny bionics on the shields, the mind impulse unit. I think M I U is the thing, uh, the word I was searching before. So that's pretty much stage two with these. There's another stage one I will do sometime next. Here's the sergeant for the Meliators Sigmarine Conversions. You can see them over there. Various stages of paint and kit bash. But he too needs a bigger sword. What about Carl Franzing you? I think that would look cool. Okay, that totally wasn't planned for today, but whenever you have a good idea, it's better to try it right now pretty sure that this blade would look better else I wouldn't have made that cut and of course I somewhere have a spare part spare sword okay it is too long but more to my 
liking than the first version. Needs a bit of trim. Perhaps cut out two to three. Ah, oh, two, two to one and a half millimeters up to there, shortening it a bit. So it's always good to have another project at the side because there's every time some little pieces that you will be able to use in other kit bashes. So, next step with the Theoraptor Cavalry would be to add pouches and equipment, but haven't decided on that yet. The only thing that is fixed is the idea of adding these holstered last guns but okay let's let's try this one out we used the Skitari Vanguard rifles for the centerpieces of the lances so we have the rest of the rifle as leftovers so when taking the pack the stowed rifles from the Tempestus Skyans and put them onto the mounts they are quite too big never really was a fan of them but if we cut it here right behind the magazine then cut away the muzzle then cut at right where the fold of the holster is ending here we go we still have the shortened grip then we have most part of the holster at an odd angle for now but you get it and then nope too much left on it Well, the small bedroll is from the Skyen Skyen kits, or if you mean the a loose bedroll it's possibly from the Ravenwing Bikers too. This one. But it's quite big. Only smaller bedroll is on the sky and backpack. Yeah, 
that's way too big. But we could use this as kind of a camouflage tarp or something like that. So out of this one we got a slightly Ah, from the scout sprue, yes, there's one fold fold cloak to put on top of the back of the scout armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no what you mean. No what you mean. That definitely could be a possible choice, yeah. I think we should do a kit bashing session together sometimes. So you have uh, great ideas and a good memory of existing kits. Quite like that. something like that. It's still a bit huge. We can still trim some parts, take a bit more of the actual holster over here and over here and this particular part where you attach the leather belt can be cut away. The only prominent thing we want to keep is the uh, 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 the front of the gun, the front barrel. There are folded stock less guns in the Chimera kit, I think. They are an option too, but I don't know where I have them right now, stacked away somewhere. You <laughs> even collect the instructions, yes, I have a whole drawer full of them. Nowadays you need them to build most of the kits. There was a time where you didn't need instructions. So now it's just adding some random pouches and stuff we have here again from the Ravenwing kit, quite big uh, Grey Knights pistol holster could be an option we even have this single rifle yeah the crude crude saddlebags good idea again well, the Armiga is one of the recent kits you can build without instructions, yes, if you have built one already. Medics casing could be a thing. Daggers. When going for pouches I personally prefer this one's here from the orcs kit you build six 
Also, hello, Alvaro 7 as Welcome. I've only built one Armiga so far. Heavily kitbashed one. Have his brother somewhere in pieces and two more custom Helverins are planned. One already in stage one build. Okay, but the also here the grenade rope things from Scout are really cool. Mm, are there pictures of this kit bash somewhere? Haven't seen it yet, I think. Hello, Ryan. So I think we might be at the end of this kit bash session with the product I wanted to create quite finished for now to be looked at for a few days but if you have questions I would like to answer them until Instagram will cut the feed after an hour or so Getting all cleaned up again. So I put the parts I want to use later into these little plastic things. usually use the blisters that come along characters when did I have the idea for the black phalanx well that was about last year in December when the guys over from Iron Sleet called uh, their Invitational. The theme was, the idea was to create five soldiers of a regiment that would fight on the Thorn Moon's crusade, one of their, or their actual narrative campaign. I plan to keep the snakes and stuff on the shields because they are quite cool for personal heraldry. I quite like the idea of them being some kind of knights or nobles, not necessarily.